Yeah, it was, um, it was nice for the younger boys to um, have a run out and we had a couple of boys um, that haven't had much game time um, and a couple of boys from uh, the club rugby that stepped up and performed really well for us. Um, you know, we scored 11 tries, so it's always a, a good day um, at the office, but, um, you know, a different challenge again this week uh, coming up against the Ospreys. Obviously, we want to improve on the performance um, of last week, um, but everyone's like really bought into it. Um, everyone got on board from day one um, and there's good chemistry out there amongst the boys and you could see that how um, everyone played with a smile on their faces. Yeah, there'll be a, a well drilled side and there's no doubt about that we're going to have to step up our uh, performance this week against, against the Ospreys. Um, I dare say they'll have um, some uh, senior boys playing in that game as well so it'll be a, a really good test for us. When I was at the Ospreys, trained there for a whole uh, um, season during uh, COVID and, and played a few of the games out of there. And obviously playing uh, club rugby when I started off a semi-pro, playing for Ebervale Vale and Ponapool likes down there against Swansea as well. So I've had um, a few uh, games down there. Um, I dare say it'll be a good crowd. The Ospreys usually have a good crowd, so hopefully we'll have a few fans as well and um, it'll be a good game. Always want to finish on, um, you know, good results, um, but it's just building that performance uh, throughout the week. We only got a short block um, with the players, um, but it's a good chance for the youngsters to put their hand up and, and show what they can do. And, and especially for future, you know, selections and stuff like that, the, the academy system coming through, you see these players come in uh, to fruition and they're getting a chance to wear that Dragons jersey, which is, is what they want. First six games of the season, I've been involved uh, in four occasions with, uh, with the first team, but um, no, the boys have been good. Uh, the coaches and staff around me have been very supportive uh, to help me coach uh, my aspect uh, with the first team. And then obviously um, getting involved now with, uh, with the A team, taking more of a leadership on the defensive role. So um, it's been a massive learning curve for me, but um, you know, the, the, the support ne network that I've had around me has been really good and the boys have been buying into what we've been putting in place. So um, no, I've been enjoying it. It is uh, an in interesting mix, obviously. Uh, you know, I get a few jokes from there. The players are like, I oh, don't say anything, a coach is coming and stuff like that. But no, to be fair, the boys uh, have been really good. and. You know, I've just got to make sure that what, what, I'm, what I'm coaching the boys, that I'm, uh, I'm doing myself because it's easy to stand up in the front of me and say, need, need to do this, need to do that. But when I'm out there on the field, I need to be accountable as well. So, um, but the boys have been uh, very good with me. And like I say, the coaching staff have been very supportive as well. So, um, no, I've been uh, enjoying it. It is a tough role to be in, but um, no, I'd like to obviously looking forward to the future now. So, um, you know, dipping my toes into it.